All right, so we're going to look at a couple of examples um, where we try to evaluate some definite integrals. Now, the trouble is, at this point in the game, we know a bunch of properties, right? And we have this idea that integrals are defined in terms of area, but we still don't really have any idea how we compute these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw pictures and hope that we can rely on some sort of geometric intuition to come up with the, with the plots, okay? So, uh, here we just, our function, right, if we plot our function, we have a straight line, right? It's a line with slope two, intercept of minus four, right? So here's minus four, down here, minus eight, Right, it's when x is equal to minus 2, we're going to be at minus 8. We're going to head up through that intercept. x-intercept is going to be at 2. Okay, there's our line. Okay. All right. So if we want to understand this area, well, what we can do is say, all right, this is at 5, right? So when x is equal to 5, 2 times 5 is 10 minus 4, so 5 six, right? This point down here is at minus two and minus eight. And so we can work out areas for these two triangles, right? So what's the first area? The first area, area one, one half, what's the base? It's the distance from minus 2 to plus 2, which is 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 units. The height is going to be minus 8. Well, the height is 8, right? Because we're just thinking in terms of area here. Okay? So we get 16. Okay? Second area, 1 half. Base is 1, 2, 3. Right, distance from 2 to 5. Height is 6, so we have 9. Okay, all right. And we can realize those areas as integrals, right? So what we can do is we can say that the integral from minus 2 to 5 of 2x minus 4 dx is the integral from minus 2 to 2 of 2x minus 4 plus the integral from 2 to 5, right? This is one of our properties. Okay? But the integral from minus 2 to 2 is, well, we want to say that it's area 1, right? But the integral is signed area. Area 1 lies below the x-axis, so we have to put a minus sign out front. And the integral from 2 to 5 is area 2. Okay? So it's minus 16 plus 9, so we get minus 7. Okay. Not so bad. All right, what about this second one? Well, we kind of know what's going on here too, right? Because what is the curve that I get if I plot y equals 9 minus x squared? Right. 9 minus x squared under the square root. Well, this is the same thing as x squared plus y squared equals 9, right? It's the top half of a circle of radius 3. Okay. So if I want this area, well, what is it? It's going to be the area of half a circle, right? Because it's the area between the x-axis and the curve, right? So it's, it's half a disk. So it's 1 half. What's the area of a disk? Pi r squared. Pi times the radius, which is 3 squared. So I get 9 over 2 pi. All right. Not so bad. All right. We'll do one more example before we move on to Riemann sums.